Okay, welcome everyone to the uh, Monday, October 5th uh, meeting of the uh, Albany Common Council. This is our caucus free uh, meeting. Um, for the record, Mr. Pichardo, will you? Sure can. You um, Thank you. Sure can. Uh, present to currently are President Pro Tem Kelly Kimbrough, Council Member Tom Hoey, uh, Council Member Kathy Fahey, Council Member Alfredo Ballerin, Council Member, I'm sorry, Council President Ellis, Council Member Ginny Farrell, Council Member Joe Igo, Council Member Joyce Love, Council Member Richard Conti, and Council Member Derek Johnson. From the staff side, myself, Daniel Gillespie, the city clerk, Michelle Andre, senior legislative aide, and Brett Williams, senior corporation, senior assistant corporation counsel. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Pichardo. All right, so uh, just jump right in. Uh, approval of meeting minutes from our previous meeting. We'll uh, I'll be offering the Monday, September 21st of 2020 meeting minutes for passage. Uh, any questions? Mr. Paterno, did you have something? No, okay, all right. All right, so the Monday, uh, September 21st meeting minutes. Uh, next in the calendar on to consideration of local laws. Uh, we got uh, local law N of 2020 by Mr. Igo. Uh, that'll be going to the law committee. It's a, it's a, a law that's changing, or excuse me, changing our law to adjust to what uh, New York State Department of Criminal Justice Services uh, requires uh, of us to uh, enable them to do our background checks for vendor permit applicants. Okay, that'll be going to law. Next on to consideration of ordinances by council member Love. Uh, it's an ordinance uh, allowing the sale of 47 First Street to uh, uh, Thomas Lacey. Uh, that'll be going to the Finance Committee for consideration. Can everyone hear me? Yeah, okay. She had head shaken. Okay, next uh, uh, ordinance, onto ordinances by uh, council member Hoey. Uh, it's ordinance 23-101-20 and it's removing the expiration date from the hand ordinance. So that'll be going to general service for discussion. <clears throat> okay, uh, next on to uh, ordinance 24-101-20 by Council members Balloran, Love, and Robinson. That'll be going to Human Resources. Uh, it's, it's an ordinance that increases the requirement of contractors throughout the project to strive to get 25% utilization of women in minority labor. That will go on to HR and HR, Human Resources, Human Rights. Okay, next uh, is mine, uh, ordinance 25-101-20. Uh, be uh, authorizing the sale of two Genesee Street to Daniel Cadalso. Uh, that will be going to the Finance Committee. Okay, and that was it for ordinances introduced. So uh, under ordinances held, uh, it'll be in agenda item item number fourteen. That is Miss Frederick's. Uh, ordinance 1891-20 that actually went before the Parks and Rec uh, Committee and came out with a positive recommendation. Uh, so we'll be voting on that. That was the, uh, the one with the uh, Hoffman Park football field and the dog waste. Okay, that was, that'll be uh, voted on, will be passed. Okay, next on to uh, consideration of resolutions. Council Member Fahey, on behalf of planning, uh, will have uh, the appointment of Anthony Gaddy to the IDA. That's 881020R. That'll be passed. And the next one is resolution 891020. It's also an appointment to the IDA. It'll be uh, Mr. Lloyd Stewart. 
Uh, both of them went through the planning committee and uh, came out with uh, positive recommendations. Okay. Um, okay. So that was, res okay, resolution. So um, agenda item nine that was held, uh, it's, it's Mr. Johnson's uh, resolution 849220. It was being uh, amended. Uh, that'll be offered for passage also. The amendments, the changes uh, were made to that. And JR, can you just refresh us? The changes, it, would it refer, it's referring specifically to the South End now? Is that the change that was made? Yes, that's the change. Okay, that was the adjustment. Okay, that'll be a pass. Yeah, so that is, did I miss anything? That's it for the agenda. I only missed one part. Um, okay. 25, 21, 20. I don't know how I miss, who's sponsoring that? 25 is ordinance. It's me. Okay. It's the Genesee Street. Yes. Yeah, it's me. Okay. Thank you. Uh, Kelly, mm -hmm. uh, just one note on uh, Sonia's amendment. That's also a pass with, with amendment. Okay. Thank you. All right, since we have some time left, um, I'll uh, uh, mention, uh, Joe, were you trying to speak? I, it looked like you were talking, you're still muted. You're still muted. There, now you're good. I just want to tell Richard, I think he looks so good all alone in that chamber tonight. <laughs> <laughs> and JR, I'm trying to figure out your background here. Is that the set of Hamilton? Yes, it's the set. <laughs> all right, now I got that cleared up. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah, I, I thought I'd sneak into City Hall tonight and make my way upstairs. <laughs> I'm kind of lonely here, but. Love what you've done with the place. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Lives yes. In like Chicago. <laughs> yes, my birth home. Yeah, it's the riverfront there. It looks a lot better now than it did when I lived there. So uh, good for them. Uh, so I just wanted to touch on uh, the lawsuit. We're still uh, searching. We had a good line on an attorney, and the, he uh, ended up being com conflicted out of uh, of representing us. So we're we're still. And this is the blood plasma uh, lawsuit that I mentioned uh, at our caucus the other day. So there's there's that. Um, I guess, I mean, we have a lot of time left. Uh, we've got the financial, uh, th that stuff we can, we can talk about our meeting schedule for the budget and all that stuff. Jenny, do you wanna? Yeah. Um, Just real, real quick, I think. Oh, I think Mike has his hand up. Yeah, um, so, both so both attorneys that Marissa gave us are conflicted out. So, what's the process? Do we? Have Can I just uh, jump not in? the second. I'm just wondering to what extent this should oh, be. Oh, not yeah. the second. I don't know. No, I mean, no. I'll defer to Jr. I just I don't know. We're talking about legal stuff now and stuff. Right. Um, so it was, executive session. It was White, Osterman, and Hannah. They're conflicted out. Um, okay. And but so, did you just, and I, should this just some of this discussion I, I be an executive session? I get it. Yeah. yeah. So, mm -hmm. so right. So we we will okay. just leave it at, at at that. Okay. The discussion's gone okay. as far as we probably should at this point. Um, so we'll we'll go back to that uh, offline. Um, go ahead, uh, Ms. Farrell. Thanks. Um, so we have our first two meetings upcoming. We have uh, this week, Wednesday, we're kind of Mike Wheeler and Rachel McEnany are coming in and giving an overall view of the budget. Um, Thursday, I believe Darius is coming in. 
um, to talk about some pieces. Michelle might need to support me through all of these different meetings. Correct. Uh, He's coming on Thursday. And we have asked people, we have asked um, any departments to make sure that we're given materials 48 hours ahead of time. I'll continue to push on that. That's a really important piece. So we're able to ask questions um, with that knowledge. It's difficult. Um, and I know that this is something that um, Judy struggled with a lot where I know she always, always asked for that too. And um, it wasn't always, it didn't always happen. So we're going to continue to um, that mission of pushing for that. So we're actually able to answer some questions. We'll be getting the actual bonding ordinances and um, everything on Friday. Um, they needed a bit more time um, this budget season, just because the way the dates fell, it was kind of a more compacted thing. Um, so I said it was fine since we'll be, um, we can introduce those on the 19th, but we'll be able to talk about them and um, before then, because we do have the budget itself. So, and then from there, we'll be uh, spending a lot of time. I do ask, we will also be, we have been hearing from some department heads, there will be several departments um, that they will not need to do any additional information. So that's a great place to begin um, once we get all of that data. If you wanna start going through the budget book, starting with those departments, that that's kind of a complete picture in terms of their communication with the Common Council. Um, some departments um, will, they are already anticipating uh, giving us a lot more information because clearly we need to dig in a bit more than there's space for in the budget book. So I highly recommend beginning with those places and um, getting together questions that we can send along um, for any of those departments that we don't, uh, that are not coming in and that are not giving us any additional information. So we should be getting that fairly soon. Um, we should have gotten it before, but again, it's been a difficult budget season. So um, they are getting it to us imminently. Uh, and if you have not, if you would like a, a budget book in your hand, um, I believe that Danielle was printing them out for people and you can pick them up in City Hall. And uh, thank you for Danielle and, and JR and um, Michelle for all your help with all of that. So does anybody have any questions on that first piece? I think that's it. Okay, so um, at this point, um, any members have anything? I mean, I guess we, if we wanted to talk about the, the lawsuit stuff, we could probably jump in the executive session for a couple minutes and then back out. I move we move into executive session in order to talk about the lawsuit. Second. Richard, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. JR. 